hello my lovelies welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be showing you all how i made this gorgeous zara cap for a client if you're interested in learning how i made this stunning bespoke zara cap with this original rabbit's ear attached to it by the side please make sure you watch this video all the way to the end so you don't miss out on any important detail do not skip any part of this video so you don't ask questions that have already been answered also if you're not subscribed please subscribe to this video share it with your friends and like it all right let's get started all right we're going to be working with three cutouts of ashoke material length 26 inches so we're going to be joining all three of them together as usual so this is after i've joined it this is what it looks like and this is the back so i'm straightening it out now i'm going to be working with our mako i've already told us where to get our mako from shoemakers or some fascinator sellers they do sell it to now we are going to be placing our mako in the middle you can use your eyes to gauge it or you can notch it just make sure that the mako is well placed in the middle now after that you're going to take this your material with the mako to your sewing machine and you're going to run your stitch just like my hands are showing you my fingers are showing you i'm done sewing it down and this is actually what we want to achieve so my mako is inside and this is what it looks like after sewing it with the sewing machine and i didn't stop there i still went on ahead to add my elastic at the edge of this fabric so this is how i sewed down the elastic with my my sewing machine and i did it on both ends now next thing i'm going to do is to flip it to the right side and then i'm going to close it together right side facing the right side then the next thing i'm going to do is to drag my elastic i'm going to pull this elastic both of them i'll pull it so hard and then i'll take it back to the sewing machine and run my stitch i have a full tutorial where i did a zara cap with an elastic i'll drop the video link here on the screen for you so you can go back and watch it so this is what it looks like after stitching it up next i'm going to use my needle and thread to form a gathers just like we normally do with our zara cap so i'm going to be running my stitches just like i'm doing right now i'm using my scissors to cut off the excess and you have to be careful so that you do not cut off where you've already placed your needle and thread next what you're going to do is to pull your needle and thread so that you fasten where you made that gathers once you're done securing the gathers you formed next you're going to turn the cap inside out Now our Zara cap is ready and this area where we put the elastic is really elastic in. Up next for our rabbit ear, we are going to be working with 20 inches of Ashoke material. Now I am going to be folding the edge of this material, the left side, after folding it I also fold the right side. Once you're done folding it, you put them together, facing each other. Next thing you're going to do is to take it to your sewing machine. And you're going to run your stitch like an opposite C sign. Now this is what it looks like after running my stitch. Next thing I'm going to be doing is to be pleating it from one end to the opposite end. You make your pleats. Now you're also going to be working with your needle and thread, tack it down and hold it in place. Once you're done tacking, put it aside and we'll come back to it later. Next, we cut out 28 inches of the same ashoke and then we hem the edges in our sewing machine. 
next thing we are going to be doing is to form our pleats now this pleat we are going to be forming it's going to be half of the ashoke since our ashoke is 28 inches so half of the ashoke let's say 14 inches will be forming this pleat that i'm making on half of the ashoke which is 14 inches now after forming our pleats what we are going to be doing is to be folding it in in circles just like i'm doing so we're going to fold it in in circles as we're folding it in we're also going to be working with our needle and thread and we'll be tacking it and holding it in place At this point, I'm no longer just folding it in, I'm folding it in and at the same time, I'm pleating it and forming something that looks like a fan. Just watch what I'm doing, that will best help explain what I'm trying to achieve. So you, you fold it in and create a kind of like a fan all around. As you're doing that, you also be holding it down with your needle and thread. So I've gotten to the end of the part where I'm pleating it. So I'm tacking it with my needle and thread. And now the remaining excess that you're seeing hanging there, what I'm going to be doing is to fold it in. Just watch what I'm doing and you understand. So we are done folding it next thing we are going to do is to bring that other ear that we we formed i'm cutting off the ss needle and thread now i'm going to be joining it together just like you're seeing so with this other needle and thread i'm going to be joining them too i'll tack it down together When working with this needle and thread, try and be very careful because I can count how many times this needle poked my fingers. 
so just be careful and that's just it just be careful so if you have gotten to this point of this video and you like what you're seeing and you have not yet joined the family please tap on that subscribe button and join the family thank you thank you and to my old subscribers i say very big thank you At this point, these two places that I'm holding down, I'm going to use the needle and thread to tack it down. Now, this is why I called it the original rabbit ear. It's already looking like rabbit ear. Or should I call it Mickey Mouse? That <laughs> Mickey Rabbit, I don't know. Mickey Rabbit is really looking so beautiful. I know. So right now, I'm pressing it down by the side this way because I want to attach this rabbit ear by the side. So that area where I put the elastic, that's where I'll be putting it. So with my hot glue, I'm adding a generous amount of glue around that area where I put the elastic. And then I'm going to gradually place my rabbit ear by that side. Give it a press hold and go ahead and stitch it and tack it down to secure it more. That's how you make your Zara cap with rabbit ear by the side. Very beautiful. Like my video, share, comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Enjoy.